Hello. In this session, we will use the binary classifier for predicting value. Here is the our dream dataset. It contains the data for the delay flights. For now, I just truncated data to the around 3000 records. It contains the origin and destination location, departure time, expected arrival time, origin arrival time, and the delay minutes. And the flag that indicate whether the flight is delay or not. I have considered the flight as a delay if its flight is delayed by the 15 or more minute. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Here I have created the folder for session 27. Within that, I have copied the training dataset file and updated the copy to output directory flag in property. As well as I have created the input model based on the CSV data. For each property, I have used the load column attribute and specify the index and created the demo file like the previous session. It contains the execute method. Within that, I have created instance of the ML context as well as loaded data from the CSV file. Now we need to create the pipeline for preparing the data. Our CSV file has the seven fields. However, we does not require all of the field. So use the context.transform.select columns to filter out the column. We are just interested in the origin, destination, departure time, expected arrival time, and is delayed by the 50 minute flag. So after this statement, we just have those five fields. As we know that machine learning work around the uh, numeric value. But here for the origin and distance, we have the uh, string value. So we need to convert it to the uh, numeric value. Use the append method to add the estimator in this pipeline. Use context.transform.categoryer.1hot encoding. We need to provide the output and the input column name. Output column name will be encoded origin and obtain the input column name from the properties name. Copy paste it and update it for the destination. Same will be applicable on the destination. This method will assign the numeric value to each unique value. Based on that, numeric value perform the vectorization. Before this operation, we have the five columns in the data view. But after this column, it will add the two column. One of them will represent the numeric value and the another will represent the vectorized value of that numeric value. The same will apply to this statement too. So we have nine columns in the data view. We can also delete the column from the data view. For example, we will use the encoded value for the future operations. So we can delete the original value. To delete the column, we need to use the context.transform.drop column and pass the list top column name that you want to delete. That is origin and destination. In the previous example, we are predicting salary from the experience. This means it has the one label and the one feature. In this example, the label will be is delay by 15 minute flag and the feature will be those four fields. We need to combine those fields into the single field so we can predict the label. Use the context.transform.concatenate method to combine the fields. Output name will be the features and input column are the encoded origin, encoded destination, departure time, expected arrival time, here we have the column name is delay flag by 15 minutes. So we need to convert it into the label and its type will be the boolean. 
for this use the a context dot transform dot conversion dot convert type method output column name will be the a label and uh, input column is uh, delay by 50 minutes and we want to convert it into the a boolean here our data preparing pipeline has been created based on that we need to open the a trainer in the a pipeline i am opening it in the same pipeline like the previous sessions you can create a new variable and append it later we are interested in the binary classification and the trainer will be SDCA logistic regression. Our pipeline is created. We need to create a model based on that. For this, use the fit method of the pipeline. Let me generate a preview after transforming the data view. Create a prediction engine. For the input model and the result model, and pass the model. Create a new class as result model. This model has the two properties. The first is a Boolean value for predicted label will delay by 15 minutes. Column name will be predicted label. And next is the uh, float score. I have already created a method that will print the uh, value of the uh, result model on the uh, console, so pasting it here. I have also created two examples for predicting value, so pasting it here. Let me add the uh, breakpoint after this preview. Update your program.cs file. See all the files and run the project. It will take up to 5 to 10 seconds based on the, your system configuration. Here, our debugger breaks. Open the uh, preview in the uh, quick watch. Expand the uh, column view. It contains the uh, 12 columns. First three columns are the uh, same as the uh, training data set. Next is the uh, auto generated numeric value for the origin and its vectorized value. The destination also has the uh, same column. Then the feature column. It contains the vectorized value for the all of the concatenated column. Next is the label that exists in the data set. Last three values are generated using the model. Continue the execution. Here we got the predicted value for both examples. In both scenario, flight will be on the time. Let's see what we have learned in this session. In this session, we have used the logistic regression trainer of the binary classification. Using the select column, we have specified the field that we want to use. Using the one hot encoding, we had converted text value into the numeric value and generated the vectorized value based on that numeric value. Drop column will act as its name. Concatenate method is used to combine the multiple column into the a single column. And a convert type is used to convert the data type of the any field. For this example, I have used the various kind of estimator, but not all of them require. You can skip the drop column as well as the convert type estimator. We'll learn more about those transforming method in the later session. Using the SDCA logistic regression, we have added the binary trainer for the statistic dual coordinate ascent. As seen in the previous session, there are various trainer available. You can use the other trainers too. After creating pipeline, we have created model and the production engine. Stay tuned for the next session.